Men should pay on the first date. Agree or disagree? So if a girl offered to pay, what would you say? Pay for it, then run it up! Hey man, yeah. Yo guys, it's Chax. Yeah man, it's your boy Young Philly. Yes, this is Think Twice, the show where we debate about the biggest questions going on in the world right now. That's right, it's all about personal experiences and opinions. So drop yours to back up who you think is right. Yes, this episode is all about life. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe before we get started because we won't start until you do all of that. And just because you ain't done it, we ain't starting yet. Yeah, we ain't starting, we ain't starting. We can wait all day. Yeah, I don't mind, I don't mind. That's chill. You're out of the chunks, everything all right with you? Yeah, bless the car. You good? Yeah, bless. Fit and ready now, chunks. Yeah, 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 cool, cool, let's go. First up, it's agree or disagree. We're gonna hear a statement and we have three seconds to either put up agree or the disagree paddle. Yes, we have five minutes to back up why we agree or disagree. Right guys, first question. Men should pay on the first date. Agree or disagree? Don't get me wrong, I'm not even saying that I'm tired, I don't wanna pay, but who made up this damn rule, fam? <laughs> like, who sat, why did everyone agree to that? I feel like it should be fair, fam. I'll take it back. I'll do this. Now, some, like, I've met some females that are so like, it's so important for them to have like, for everyone to be viewed as the same. Like, do you know what I mean? If a man can do that, then they want to be able to do the same job a man's doing. But if that's the case, then why ain't it like that with life in general? Why don't we both pay them, fam? If me and you are so equal, why have I got to pay and you don't? I feel like- So then it's not equal then, innit? I feel like it's just chivalry, chivalrous to just, on the first date, obviously you're probably gonna be the first one to initiate it with a girl. No. Who, who says that? But again, that's just a standard stereotype. Man can't say that, bro. What you're saying, gal don't move to you, fam. Of course, but I'm exactly. saying so in terms of like you just said, I don't feel like you have to, but like just common courtesy to just pay for the first date. Hopefully it goes well. But I feel like date two, three or four, if they do happen, then I'm sure she'll be happy to go halves or even pay on some uh, instances. But. It's just an unwritten rule, isn't it? Like I say, because my I feel like my opinion seems like I do it and I'm pissed off that I do it. Nah, but I'm just saying, who invented that? Tradition, isn't it? So, so? But whose tradition is that? This is what I'm saying. It was probably Michael and Bookie, him and his gal, they've done it. So now Belinda and Timothy have seen it. So now Timothy and... Be now Michael and Georgie have copied Belinda and Timothy, like, blood. Do you get my point? You got horrible names. Who the flip has come up with this, bro? All right, so in my opinion, obviously coming from an African household, obviously my dad was the one working and yeah. then my mum was looking after the youths then. Mm. So then in terms of like looking after the bills and stuff, obviously it was my pops, innit? I think on a tradition aspect, that's probably why that's where that came from. And obviously now coming into 2020 and that, Obviously, every, all the, everyone's equal. Do you know what I mean? They're all, always, oh, they're all equal, but I feel like now that women and men are just doing the same thing right nowadays, so I feel like it is a bit more fair. Like, we might have to lose that tradition, but then should we? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know how it works. It's, it's a catch-22. I feel like I'm, I'm comfortable. Let me throw a question in there for you guys. Um, so if a girl offered to pay, what would you say? Run it up! No, no, no. Pay no, no, for no, no, it, no. then run it up! What, first date? Run it up! Nah, I, I'll pay for it. I'll say, nah, nah, don't worry, baby. Nah, nah man, nah. run it up, fam. Run it up, I ain't an Egypt. If you want to pay for that, then be my guest, blood. We're wearing gauchos, babe. That's cost four row, four up, 400. You want to pay? No problem, be my guest. Thank you for that. Nah, I, 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 I'll insist, I'll insist. Oh, shut up, chunks. Are you telling me you didn't insist? Do you know why? Do you know why you're saying this now, yeah? And it's so easy. Do you know what? I've just realized something, chunks. Have we been broke and been in a different situation? I don't think we would have answered like this, you know? Furthermore, bro, I'm not even moving to girls if I have no money. Yeah. Why am I drawing gal when I need to bring me, I need to bring money back for the yacht? Do you get my point? Yeah. So furthermore, if you can't even pay for the date, you shouldn't, done. That answers the question. If you can't even pay for both, for, for the date, you shouldn't be on a date. Done. Done. I agree, man. Got to pay for them still. Pay for the gallum on the first date, second date, you might get something nice. Mm. 
<laughs> Next up, it's Imagine That. So, how it works, it's Wait simple. right there, Philly. This is a time where I tell you guys to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done already. So please, go and do that. Anyway, this round we're given made up scenarios and we need to decide what is the best option. Chunks, are you ready? Ah, uh, yeah, no, okay, you know, I'm gonna do that again. Yeah, we're ready, we're ready. No, but say it more enthusiasm, like, just pretend for me, just go, ready, yeah? Okay, let's do it again, go on. Chunks, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready, bro. Right, guys, so let's prioritize these three in order. Wealth, health, or happiness? Ooh. Happiness, health, wealth. I feel like it you're gonna be say health, health happiness. Up. I knew you'd say that. Health, happiness, wealth. But then I've got one to spin you for it. Go on, tell me your theory on why health first. Because, yeah, most important thing, you want to be healthy. So the way I spin you. But then I could, I could definitely be happy and fall off that mountain again like I did and hurt my leg. And be in a cast and have one leg forever, but I don't care because I'm happy. Wow. Do you get what I'm saying? Good spin around. You can still be healthy and have one leg, you know? No, but I feel like if you're healthy, you should be happy. If you're healthy, you should be happy. Yeah, do you get it? No, nah, not necessarily. That's from a mental aspect, from a physical aspect. I know a lot of people that are not necessarily comfortable in their body, but every day live the littest life. So that's why I don't feel like it's dependent on your health or like whether you're fat, skinny, whether you're happy or not. Like, yeah, man, I'd say All happiness right. first. Why have you put money at the end? Money, bro, I'll be honest, man. I, 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 I've only come running to money recently, fam, and I was happy before that. So it just shows that it, 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 it's someone, something that can be there and you'll be happy and there's something that can't be there and you'll be happy. You know what I mean? And now that you have the money you're making, you don't feel like you live a happier life, honestly? No, no, definitely not. Definitely not, bro. Why are you, why are you so happy every day? What are you happy over then, bro? Oh, what they didn't put up in was religion. God. That's another reason. That's, that's the most important, in my opinion. That's more important than all three. Than all three, I agree. Money, money obviously contributes. Let's not, let's not cap right now, you know what I mean? Like seeing my mum and dad like smiling because I'm paying off bills and things that I couldn't do before, that's, that brings me happiness 100%. That, you know what I mean? So I, that obviously does wonders, but then if we're talking about those three, it comes last, but it's also very important, you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Like Chance, ain't you ever wanted something really bad, yeah? And like when you get to it, you're like, this ain't shit. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Like when I was 13 and I never had a hundred pound, you know how much a hundred pound was to me? It was the mad thing, blood. The first time I ever had my hundred pound, I was like, this is, yeah, is yeah, it? Yeah, 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 now bills at 13 years old was different peas. I used to go Brent Cross and get free outfits. I was moving nuts. I used to go foot asylum, <laughs> little plug there, back in the days and I'd get some <laughs> nice little shoes, you know what I mean? <laughs> now. Man said, <laughs> Little plug there. <laughs> and now I don't have to spend my money, they look after me. Look you know what I mean? So obviously you. life, life's great, alhamdulillah. That's what we say, <laughs> alhamdulillah. <laughs> now I've got Joel shining, alhamdulillah. <laughs> now you've passed half a meal on YouTube. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> and now my mum and dad can rely on me, alhamdulillah. Now we get more or less any gal we want. Nah, you know what? That's actually... Nah, I can't, I can't say that. I can't do that for that. Nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm nah, joking. Nah. I'm, not I'm joking. So you try to set me up. You try yeah. to make me look bad in front nah, of my nah, guard. Don't do that nah, to joking, me now. Nah. Yeah, so Chunks, uh, to round it up, uh, run me through your order. I don't know. I still feel like um, health, number one. Uh, we've got happiness. Then we've got wealth. Cool. For me, it's happiness, uh, health, then wealth. But number zero, number one, the first one. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> the final round is deep. It yes, we're going to try and answer one of the biggest questions in the world right now. Such an exaggeration, isn't it? The biggest question in the world right now. I, I, I'll tell you if it's going to be the biggest question in the world right now. You tell me. Go on. Is it better to have 500k followers or a university degree? University degree. Chunks. I'm a role model for the youths them growing up, so I'll say uh, in the university degree, 500k, you should have made that at least 2 million, man, or something. What's wrong with you? Look how many men have 500k followers, but don't chop the peas we do. No, 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 bun that. Bun, bun no, it is that, about bro. that, bro. It's about a brand. You, th there's no point of you having 500k followers and you're not a brand. You're not going to be able to sell that and ain't no one going to buy it. You've just got followers for the sake of having them. So what I was trying to come from, the angle I was trying to come from, is with the social media stuff, 
we don't know how long it's gonna last. There's no longevity in it, yeah? I'll be honest, no one's gonna be an Instagram influencer for the next 25 years. Whereas a university degree, you can use that when you're 23, when you're 63, do you know what I mean? It don't matter. That's always gonna be in the arsenal. So I feel like relying on social media to make money full time is not, is not the, the smartest thing. Unless you are a brand like myself, like Chunks, where... So what happens if it was, yeah, okay, you got 500k followers and you was a brand, like you was actually embracing that power oh, that no, you that's had in different, front of bro. you? Well, if you're a brand and you've got 500k followers, bro, like you can do wonders for your life. Look what me and Chunks have done. Look what Javan Wade's done. Look what... Uh, the, 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 per, uh, Percy, I can name Bear Man. There's so many successful people from what we've done, but they have brands. Uh, I'm gonna stick with my gut and say university degree, man. Honestly, I feel like that's very important. Obviously, I don't have one, but I'm gonna make sure I do finish it up because I did go one year of uni and I didn't like it. I just probably not the right topic, not the right subject I chose, but I'm definitely gonna go back and make sure I, I wrap that up, man. My final answer is a uni degree. That is a lot better than 500k followers. Would you swap what you have now for a university degree? No, I wouldn't, fam. I obviously wouldn't because I left uni to uh, try try this out, and obviously this worked out. So I wouldn't I wouldn't swap it, but I would really want one as well. You know what I mean? So I feel like so I'm only saying that now because it's worked out for me. Whereas if someone takes a risk and it doesn't work out, then you know what I mean, what you left with your your your, you know what I mean? Perfectly said, bro. I agree. I agree. Um, you've literally taken the words from my mouth. I would, I would not go back. But hey, hey, kids, kids, make sure you're going to school, you're going to uni, you're, going, you're doing all of that. Because I swear to God, it's very important. And your parents will love you for the rest of your life as well. And just have your hustle on the side. Like, whether Chunks, I wish I met Chunks while I was at uni and I would have been a good friend for him at the time and gave him the advice of carry on uni and do YouTube at the same time. You, he didn't need to do YouTube full time in order to be successful. I'm telling you don't. He could have easily done uni and done YouTube. He just didn't like uni, that was the difference. Yeah, like yeah no, you're right, you're right as well. Like you can you can do both. I, 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 left, I left uni because I didn't like it anymore, that's why. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I feel like if I find a subject I like, then I'll do it. Plus, plus I was doing uni, work and YouTube and I didn't have time for all three, so one of them had to go and it was uni. Um, and yeah, just to summarize my answer, exactly the same. A uni degree is a lot more important than followers on the ground. Over any amount of Instagram followers, brother. There we have it. Let me take that back though. If we're talking 100 million Instagram followers, now nah, that's different. Yeah, a bit different. Know that you're charging at least 30 bags per post, no joke. I'm saying, you know Ronaldo charges, he gets a million off a post. Oh, sorry, it's not 30 grand, you'll be a million every post. <laughs> yeah, bro. Right guys, that's it, but we want to hear your opinion, so make sure you put it in the comment section down below and we'll try to uh, answer them and reply back to you guys. Yes, most importantly, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, but please turn on the notification bells so every time we upload, you get notified. Yeah, man! I like the way I said notified. You get notified. Cheerio! Oh, cheerio! <laughs>